Welcome back everyone, CapKG here, along with Jordy. Hey! And we are back for some more Camp Camp. Today we've got episode 4. This one is called Camp Cool Kids, with a Z. So you know it's a big deal. You know um, it's a really cool deal. Yeah, yeah, it's totally hip. I, I still say the word hip. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> so, um, Camp Camp has been a very interesting ride. I am very much so enjoying the political incorrectness that the show is bringing into into our lives when we get to watch it. <laughs> so funny. Last time we had was the, the Flower Scouts thing, right? Where they went to that other camp with those three, like, valley girl, preppy girl things. Oh, yeah! Things. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I think you made a comment, or I made a comment, I can't remember which one of us made a comment in that one about how those three girls sounded like they were all voiced by the same person. Totally. It's because they are. Oh! And, now, I might be wrong on this one, because I don't have the comments pull up, but I believe they're voiced by a person who plays Nora in Ruby. So. I can yeah. see that. But yeah, they are all voiced by the same person. I can totally see that. Oh my gosh, that's fun. I like that they worked on both projects. It's just fun. Well, it's all, a lot of them are Rooster Teeth people, so of course they're going to be in most of their shows. But yeah, it's yeah. kind of cool. It's kind of cool when you recognize voices or realize little things like that. Um, yeah. That right, being so, said, if anyone hears me when, when I'm talking and they think I sound like a valley girl, please point it out because I still like, ew, I can hear it right now. I still, <laughs> I still can't totally completely like hear myself when I am. So guys, point it out. I think it'd be really funny. People have mentioned it in the comments. They're like, once really? we mentioned it last time, they're like, oh my God, Jordy does kind of sound like a valley girl. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I haven't been to the comments yet. Okay, cool. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump in. This I miss this. This is the kind of peasant work my parents left their home country to avoid. Yeah, I don't get the oh. point. What good is rolling around on the floor if it's clean? This isn't even part of a sanctioned camp activity. This is child labor. <laughs> Man, Arid never gets yelled at for not working. She's just too cool. I wish I was her. <gasps> Arid? Like a dry desert climate? I think her real name is Meredith, but she's so freaking cool she goes by the middle part of her name. Ooh, I <laughs> yeah, why cool. Try that. Ick. Ooh, Ick. Yeah. Ick. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Nicknames don't make you cool. Psh, spoken like a true first part nicknamer. No one's too cool to talk to. Even cool kids take giant uncomfortable shits from time to time. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so hey, funny. Chillin', cut the hammering and get back to scrubbing. If we were in charge, things would be so you much You guys, better. you know, you could just no be like, no. Scrubbing, right. no outdoors. No, David. We should just revolt. You know what? You're oh, right. Nice. Aren't you all sick of this lowly work? <laughs> it's time we take control of our lives and fight back. Who's with me? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, you keep saying God, that. David. Well, because it's true, the Cameron Campbell is coming tomorrow. Oh, maybe he'll give us a raise. Or tell I me about the son he never had. Or explain why he's Probably not by the government. Or that. Yeah, there's yeah. that. Yeah, I don't you know. Think? I feel kind of bad making the campers work so hard just to impress that guy. Don't worry. Once we tell Aww. them about the ice cream pizza party, I'm sure they'll see it was all <laughs> worth it. <laughs> <laughs> we got ourselves an uprising. Uprising. <laughs> You know, it, it helps give incentive if you tell them about the ice cream party before. First, yeah, before you give them all that work, yeah. I work with children. I avoid the revolting. <laughs> Thank you, I'm with him. <laughs> No! It was stressing me out. I just realized there's bomb defusing in there. <laughs> I love that ending. It just goes to camp camp. Okay, okay. I, don't, I don't know why, but I like that. I am very disappointed in you for this behavior, but I'm also torn because you were clearly paying attention and not tying class. Shut up! We're in charge now, Davy. The camp is ours. Yeah. Yippee! Oh, oh. This is just like Clay Miss. Oh, I love it. Don't make this lame, Preston. Max, let Preston. us down Bee. now. Cameron Campbell <laughs> is coming to the camp tomorrow, and we need to get ready. Oh, even better. You'll definitely be fired once he sees the state the camp is in, or will be in, 
Come on, everyone. <laughs> oh, Gwen, we have to stop them. <laughs> I yeah, love I her laugh. I refuse to stop here for the next 24 hours. <laughs> and now, the season premiere of Teen Prison Mom Wars. My baby gonna shake you, bitch. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Trash TV. Gwen. Gwen! I know people would be that impressed by that. <laughs> All right, <three> men. <laughs> I hate that Now that, that the revolution stuff. is complete, it's time to choose our new leader. What about when Obviously, they have to go potty? I will happily take the... I vote Aaron! What? Cool. I vote Aaron as well. <laughs> She is strong, and passionate, and so cool! Yeah! yeah! Whoa, 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 hold oh. the hell up! <laughs> Did you nerds forget who revolutionized this place? I should be leading you, not extreme sports Barbie over here! But Eric's charisma modifier is like plus ten! Thanks, Nerys. <laughs> That's cool to say. <laughs> I oh, cool I love Nerys. <laughs> sure thing, Mickey. Everyone can be cool at Camp Cool Kids. Oh, I love that name. No, you're going to get taken advantage of by the 1%. Rage against the machine. Fight the power 9-11. Progress. Oh. Fosfets can't save you now. But Eric doesn't have the spreadsheet software to manage. That's because spreadsheets aren't cool. Right, Eric? <laughs> right. I, I can't. Don't <laughs> you don't. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, traitor? I'm sorry. You said to talk to her, and I, I panicked, so I just voted for her. You'll regret this. Yo, uh -oh. Nikki, I got you a pair of cool sunglasses. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nikki sold it. She's easy to buy um, off. Get back here with my what if they have to peer? Sorry. Tell me how Gwen's still so impressed by that. <laughs> oh, I would be so sad. Ew, gross. Bullseye. Cool. Everyone is so much happier now thanks to you. How are the plans for the giant half pipe coming? Should be ready to build as soon as we learn basic architecture. What a cool idea, Arid. I know. Think of all the sick 900s we can do off that thing. Yeah. I totally know what that is. Aaron, it's cold and <laughs> warm know. outside. I cast an invisibility charm to conceal David and Gwen. Can we come inside for a bit? Oh, totally, magic dudes. In fact, everyone gets a break. Dance party! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Aaron, those are some interesting <laughs> dance, dance moves. moves. <laughs> Fellow Freemen, there comes a time when a group must fight this back against tyranny. Hilarious. Like oh the Minutemen of the Revolution, we will fight for our independence. Minutemen? Mommy calls Daddy that when they argue. I'm not sure I'm comfortable <laughs> with this. It's only been a few hours and we've already gone shirtless. Silence! He's trying! <laughs> cool kids with everything we've got. <laughs> Free Brother Neil? What have you got? I was saving uh? these to put in David's underpants. Perfect. Well, I was saving. Shut up. Here's how it'll work. <laughs> Space kids are most expendable, so he'll be our decoy. Sad. I mean, I can't argue with that though. Yeah. Out of those three. <laughs> Check out this tattoo. I put it on by applying hot, then cold water. Ooh. Wow. Real deal, right, right there. It'll be there for at least two days. That's so cool, Arid. Nah, not really. <laughs> yeah. You're right, tattoos are lame. I did this! Come after me! <laughs> oh man, so uncool. Murder him! Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 What are you kids doing? A switch. Go, space kid. <laughs> we got you now. Let's saw him in half. Ah, I've been prestige. Suckers! Whoa. Prestige. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, you fiend! You're the fiend! What do you losers that want? That covers up justice! <laughs> you guys are here to rescue me? No, shut up, David. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you try and fight us. Gladly. <laughs> oh, God, I would not want to swing out on your me. <laughs> Nikki, attack. <laughs> bark, bark, bark! Ah! Bark, bark. <laughs> No fighting! Violence never solves anything! Stab her, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, give it up! She doesn't care about you, she just uses people! Don't listen to him, Nikki! Don't worry, Aaron! I know it's not true! Uh, no, of course it's true. Just don't listen to him. I need you on my side. I'll save you, Nikki! Fire! 
Oh god! Someone Whoa. stop drop and roll me! Oops. Stop drop and roll me. <laughs> you suck! Uh-oh. This is decidedly uncool. I agree! Someone put me out! <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody an oh my gosh. Cameron Campbell? Um, no. Mr. Campbell, you saved me. Yes, I definitely saw you and was fully aware hitting you with he my car would be the best course of action. <laughs> you Please, don't say a guy with a mustache makes you uncomfortable? It's got a little out of hand, but we can fix it, I swear. There's a pattern. <laughs> the old taking over the camp from the counselors and tying here. them to the flagpole routine. I remember my first time. <laughs> Not for IRS, IRS. Hey, Cam, can you see this guy is a terrible counselor and he needs to be dealt with? Huh? Oh, sorry, kids. I've got other things to deal with. Campbell's got a poker game to get to. I'm not going to give too many details, but let's just say if I win, I could end up being the Prime Minister of Thailand. But our revolution! That's this why he serious. makes you uncomfortable. We're He's so like, to make a difference. you know yeah, shit's going on, but it's mysterious. I saw it on TV! Oh, you kids in your dreams. So full of hope and ignorance. Someday you'll learn that no matter how righteous you think your cause is, there's always someone bigger to keep you down. And that day is today, and that someone is me. Say what <laughs> Make it shine Back now, kids. I had to cut costs on provisions, so you'll all be reusing those toothbrushes later. Ew. Ew. <laughs> well, I feel like that was futile. Sorry, Max. It's all right. I think we know this is all Neil's fault. Yep, lesson learned. Never try to change anything ever. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, my God. Funny. Uh. That music is naughty. Right. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> they let that go for a little longer. Just let you react to that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> creeps me out because he you there's always mysterious shady shit going on you don't know what it is that's why he creeps me out but yes you've addressed it i don't like mustaches <laughs> <laughs> okay you don't like mustaches but this is the mustache what makes him creepy because it's you know poor no. this guy um what was the other guy i, didn't, I can't remember i didn't think so but maybe <laughs> oh, the, the ship captain yeah maybe there is a thing <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so noted. Never grow a mustache if you want to impress Jordy. Yeah, kind of the rule. All right. Oh my gosh, my boyfriend wants to, and I said, "Hell nah, hard pass." <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> you should probably watch one of your reactions to guys with mustaches. He'll learn his lesson there. <laughs> okay, so um, we had Arid Preston. Um, that's kind of more central characters in this one compared to some of the other episodes that we've seen. Um, I don't know, have we seen Arid before? I think maybe she was yeah. mentioned once, right? Like in episode one where they kind of went through and named all the characters. I can't remember her, like, doing anything before. I don't think she did anything. I think she was just in the background. She had, yeah. like, one-liners who was like, mm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She didn't do anything, though. She's definitely one of those, like, annoying cool kids. Like, the ones who just think they're cool. But they really aren't, and there's nothing really impressive about them. But kind of like how Nikki was trying to like suck up to her, yeah. Just because it's that designation of oh, I'm with the cool kids. That's just how it felt to me. Obviously, it was um, exaggerated for the purpose of the show, but right. It reminded me of a lot of people that I knew like that um, through school going up, growing up. In yeah, school. I just genuinely think something's cool if it's genuinely like something i'm interested in or impressive but like the fact where people try to be cool to be cool like i i just don't understand how people don't see that and they're like oh like gross and boring like who wants to follow someone who just like has nothing underneath right <laughs> it's weird because like when you're going when you're going through school or you're at camp or you're somewhere around like your peers people your age especially during like your school aged years right for some reason, there is, like, this desire to, like, 
be part of the cool kids club and to yeah. um you know even to betray your own friends so to say to just be part of that clique to be part of that and you get to that point sometime after college really i think is usually when it happens when you just realize i don't care anymore i don't give a shit you know? oh my god yeah you're like it's gonna be me exhausting. <laughs> yeah and it's one of those things you i think everyone looks back and goes i just wish i didn't waste my school years yes! trying to be cool or trying to get along with cool people or try to be acceptable to people and just in myself no. yes oh my gosh i was just thinking about that because it's like there could have been so much more time of just being like oh my gosh life is actually awesome if i didn't like spend those four years hating myself yeah. i could have done so much more mm -hmm. <laughs> camille and i were just talking before we started recording now we're like oh, my personal preference is when i make friends i'm like if it's like friends are exhausting. Meeting new people is exhausting and I have social anxiety. So I like to just stick with my friends regardless. And then Camille was saying, if it feels like work, like it's not worth it. But in high school, you're like, the work's worth it. That shows you your friends, you know, it's cool. Like, And then you get people like Arid who would then take advantage of that and be like, no, yeah. yeah, I really don't give a shit about you, but I just want you on my side kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah which is funny. <laughs> Um, I love the uh, Max's like Lord of the Flies thing that they were doing there, going shirtless, getting the. Uh, oh, is that going... what it was? I think that's the reference they were going for. Maybe I'm off on that, but that's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> um, I thought that was pretty funny, going very Ooh. primitive to try to take it back, like way to the other extreme. One of the most uncool yeah. things, right? Yeah, the <laughs> chanting Uga Chugga. Uga Uga Chugga. Chugga. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I thought I think it's a Lord of the Pro Flies reference. Granted, I haven't read that book in, I don't know, like middle school, I think is when we had to read that, so. I don't think I've ever read it. I could be confusing with other, like, similar stories, but yeah. That's what I think yeah. I was referencing. Funny. Yeah, uh, but in the end, plan foiled once again. They are still prisoners of Camp Campbell, right? I kind of love the fact that, like, a big deal is made and then it just goes, meh, and it's, like, anticlimactic, like, every yeah. time. Yeah, every time they're just like, well... This was gonna go on another day and try this some other time. Come up with a new yeah. scheme, <laughs> right? It's like a ch it's like a charm mm -hmm. of the show. Where normally I would hate that, but it's like you expect it. Right, I agree. Okay. I didn't Over see anything too crazy though, or like dark or twisted in this one. Like, yeah, I felt this was some one of the most more mild episodes I think compared to yeah. the first three. Yeah. Maybe we were yeah. confused on the. Maybe, maybe, but it was still funny. It was still yeah, a funny episode. Was... I still enjoyed it. I enjoyed yes. some of the little themes and references they threw in there. Yes. And it gave too. us a, a interesting things to reminisce and think about and talk about here at the end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, but I think your best reaction came to that uh, end credits song there. The naughty song. <laughs> I feel violated hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay, that actually reminds me. I think my favorite joke out of this episode uh, was when they were like, "Minute Man." That's what my mommy calls my dad when he's angry. When she's angry with him. <laughs> and I, I said he's trying at least. <laughs> oh my gosh, I like those jokes. They kind of they make you go what, and then they move on so quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like man, that, that's just like that joke didn't even happen. Just moving right on. So. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, well I enjoyed that one. Looks like you did as well, so. Yeah. That'll do it for us for this one, guys. Let us know if there's any references or any kind of cool little tidbits that we missed from this episode. And we'll catch you guys next one when we do episode five. We'll see you guys then.